It's about relationships. <laughs> da. But unajua ile stuff ya sisi ndo tuko. Si kila saa mtu ako like niko na emergency. Sijui yeye mtu amekufa kwetu. I feel like everyone has this mindset. After high school I'm going to college or university. After graduating I'm getting a family. Use protection. <laughs> This protection, it doesn't matter if you have a kid. If this person is not making you happy, but they just walk out. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nicole Nazoe, but if you like it, you can call me Libra Bio. Remember to give this video a like, subscribe to be part of this amazing family. We are literally growing. Like, we are on the verge of not to grow, no, no, like baby steps. We are on that baby step-ish period. <laughs> so subscribe to be part of this cute, amazing little family don't forget to hit the post notification bell so that you can be notified every time i post a new video so um as you can see from the background i'm not at home i'm at a friend's place and strika i can get someone to put you guys through i forgot to carry my tripod and i was to carry it i don't even know i just forgot so, see if I'll hold you guys through this video or I'll just continue, I don't know. But, meanwhile, this is what I'm sipping on. It's a red wine and it's the best red wine I've ever tried. Yeah. It's Cuesa Buena, I think. I hope I've not said that wrong. I'm going to put a picture of it somewhere. But it's the best red wine I've ever tried. It's gonna have this sort of sugar-ish thing. Perks of not doing a video around home. You don't have access to your things. Like right now, a microphone would be of hell. Because I'm from listening to that clip. And there's just too much noise. But I'm at the balcony area. And the balcony is just a bit minimal. Yeah. So I guess that is why the noise is just all over. Plus the light on my eyes, I just feel why. <laughs> I wanted to put on my sunglasses, but then I'm like, you guys won't see me well. Anyway, I've been having this conversation with around three people, two, three people. See what we Then I was like, I think I should just actually talk about this thing. Because it's about relationships. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not growing up in a black home, it's about relationships. And there's this thing of people being in relationships. You don't want to be in that relationship, but you're still there. Why? Why are you wasting someone's time? Because um, there's someone who's telling me, at a couple yeah um it happened that they went through each other's phones and this couple was married for like six good years but then they found something in the chick's phone at the, so the chick was messing around with the boyfriend's friend yeah so this chick was caught and after the guy went through the phone he started questioning obviously like it's it's a marriage if it's dating, it's it's normal. You can see other people if you're dating, unless it's very, very serious. But if the relationship is not serious, boo, keep seeing other people. <laughs> Don't limit yourself, mostly if you've already started seeing red flags in someone. Please walk out of that relationship. So this guy saw text of the wife um with a friend of his and after he confronted the wife the wife was like a team um i'm not even sorry this guy um he does it better than you bad issues 
and the guy was so much agitated and me i was like because there was they had like one kid so the guy alikwa this guy was very patient by the way <laughs> this guy was very patient Six years in marriage i that is not a job and my whole idea of this was why is it that um you stay in toxic relationships well, you know, you are given better somewhere else. You just live this person's life, lead your own life, and give this someone some space to at least keep on venturing around. If you are not serious, have respect for the other guy. Because it doesn't make sense why you should waste someone's time. Kabla two, you just leave them. They continue with their own life. And this leads us to toxic relationships. Not saying every relationship is toxic, but as an individual, we definitely know the kind of characters we want from someone. Like for me, let's say I'm looking for a guy. Kuna zile characters that I really, really need to have or to get from this guy. If not, I'm stepping. I'm not even wasting my time. So why after you've not found mostly your main characters because not everyone is perfect but we are we always have our own characteristics that we want to get in a person so tell me why after you've noticed you're not getting this characteristic why aren't you leaving this person alone and just live your life because relationships are take a lot of energies, emotions, and everything. So why don't you just move on to the next person? Because it doesn't make sense. Most ladies nowadays, for example, they look, they want um, a financially stable guy. But unajua ile stuff ya sisi ndotuko. Sisi ndotuko. That makes a lot of sense. So, okay, now, who you know, but as you just leave them alone, if they're not giving you the amount of money you want, because out here, there are a lot of guys with money. There are a lot of women with money. At times, it's even the guys looking for someone with, like a lady with money, you know. Guys go through a lot, and they also want to settle. And for them to just have a good mental space, they need a financially stable woman. See, kila sam to ako like, niko na emergency. Si ju e m to me kufa kuetu. Aki ladies come up with a lot of excuses when they want money. Aye, lakini like, that is for sure. Si ati na watetia or na wonea, but but I think ladies have the most excuses when they want money. <laughs> A lady may be out here posting, hey Kenyan ladies, fear Kenyan ladies, obviously not all of them, but Kenyan ladies, someone might kill their father for the need of getting money from a guy, but the father is very much alive and a healthy Kenyan ladies her father, but not even ladies, even the men, like in Kenya, like Nairobi Kwanza, it's a very, very big bedroom. Apana, we lie to each other. There's a lot that happens in the Ruby relationships. You might be in a six or ten year relationship, but kumbo umekwaga side chick all this while. Unezapata, this guy has an has a whole family and he takes care of it very perfectly. Nairobi, Nairobi is not a joke. But I don't think that I don't think it's right to waste someone's time and energy for the sake of actually I don't know it's for the sake of what if it's money, if it's something there's always this one thing that makes someone stay in a relationship. But it's not worth it. Go somewhere where your heart really is comfortable. I will tell your stories on the comment section because I'd really love to hear this. Hey, do people settle for the bare minimum and when you actually look out here there are people in stable relationships and they don't even try they don't even sweat for it 
Plus, I don't know who told human beings that it's a must to have a family for you to be accepted in this society. I really don't know who told that to you, but because I feel like everyone has this mindset. After high school, I'm going to college or university. After graduating, I'm getting a family. Evo, evo, no, it will be work, family, work, family. It's not a must. It's not a must for you to have a family to be considered successful in this life. So get your partner if you want to be in a relationship. I think there are many people out here who are willingly, willingly trying to be in relationships with no kids. Just that they can't find these partners who are also willing to do the same. But why should you even bring innocent lives in this world if you're not willing to take care of them? I don't think that is fair. These people didn't ask to be in this world. See? So you're giving life to innocent lives. They first of all didn't come to you and tell you you bring them to this earth, but you decide anyway. And then, unakosa kuape the attention and the love they need. Use protection. <laughs> Use protection. And... It's not right. Like, imagine you didn't ask someone to be in this world. They bring you anywhere and make it a hell out of it. These parents who are neglective, Kwanzaa. Eh, I, I don't understand why you should be neglective. And that soul didn't even ask you to be there. Use protection. <laughs> Use protection. Do I? It's not fair. It's really not fair. And then I'm trying to you, could be growing up is a scam. You realize that life is all about hustling for you to afford all you need in life. But then again, you didn't ask to be here. But then again, you don't have no option. Luckily, life is funny. Life is so funny. Anyway, I'm just here to... Um, actually, I don't know what this video is all about. I found it informative because... I just don't understand why people stay in relationships. They are not getting what they want. You can just walk out. No one is forcing you to be there. There's like, I don't know, 5 plus billion people out here in the world that are willing to be with you or that you can try to make it work with you. But you just choose to be somewhere you are not happy with. Make great decisions. Plus, just to notice, this one is not about graduating and getting a family, getting kids, and being in a relationship you're not happy in. Walk out. Walk out. Yeah? People should be happy walking. It doesn't matter if you have a kid. If this person is not making you happy, but they just walk out. You're not destined to be there. There's a lot of ladies, there's a lot of men out here and there's a lot of venturing to do so people should actually normalize walking out of toxic relationships me i see ladies struggling in relationships and i'm like because of these potential ladies who have their own work they're actually doing well and i'm like girl do you know how good like how better you you will do when you leave that man out of your life. But they can't. Mrs. J, eh? Beauty, beauty is in the be beholder's eyes. I mean, I say, I'm watching. Hey! I never understand. But one thing, first of all, get your own papers together. That is my name. And with that, no one, no one, no one. Look at what Karen Yamu is doing. We are like, okay, this girl, she has her own money. She has a, her own career. She's doing well. She's doing well. But she's out here in the diaspora fighting for a man. Tell me how. Tell me how. <laughs> hey. God, give me that money and I will know what I'll do with it when I have it because I'll never understand. Like this, 
ladies can do so much better as long as you have your own money your own thing going on at times it's not even the money you have the dream and you're working towards it then just just keep on doing you because no guy um hey, like me, there are guys with audacity there, goes, there are guys with audacity but not most guys um I I just can't. But they're also toxic ladies, but the men anyway, learn to walk out when you can. Learn to say no when you can. Before you give in a man. Like you don't give men children and you're not willing. Or you've already started seeing the red signs. Don't give this man your children. You want a good dad for your kids so ladies please let's tile up okay it's about time i feel like by the way of late i've been feeling like actually ladies are learning their worth there are a lot of ladies walking out of relationships and i feel so proud of them like toxic relationships just because they've known their worth and kudos kudos to them it's not easy kwanza accepting that your child is growing up without that father figure it's not easy but it actually um it shows that you care more for yourself and your child yeah because it's rather a child growing up with a dad who's not um it's rather it's best for a child growing up with their dad far away if it's for their best rather than them being close and they're not performing their duties as their father they're not owning up to that title so we should we should all know when to walk away when it's necessary i hope this has taken some something at home because why relationships have become something not very serious in the streets of nairobi or not even here just everywhere like you you all for a moment and then in the next minute when I say what I'm your challenge you're like why wow, they are rooted for these people so atam nafanya ma fans when you you're making us fans not invest so much of our feelings in some relationships but anyway i hope this um has taught some of you something please walk out if you're not happy do you don't stop don't, don't leave a man don't keep it in your mind that a man is someone who's supposed to walk you out of poverty or anything. Do you, by the way, just do you, pray and do all that. And God will come through for you and that is for sure. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I was very confused on what I'll do today. But I was like, there's this something I've been talking with, with a few people. And I should actually just film it, yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let's see each other tomorrow. Finally going to pick up my sister from school and I just can't wait. Thank you so much for reaching up to this point. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. This will be my signature makeup look <laughs> at this point. <laughs>